Hello to my YouTube channel. I am back. I am so apologetic for my absence. Um, I've been kind of going through some things. Um, we already know that, yeah, I have physical ailments that's going on, but um, mentally, yeah, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I've been honest with you up until this point. I've been going through, I recently just had to face the fact that I, I've been in a state of depression. Uh, not being able to function, not being able to do anything, not having my own vehicle to be able to get out and about to take care of business. Um, you know, I live with my mom, um, me and my mom and my older sister, three women in one house. You know, it's a big enough house for us all and um, it's a blessing. I'm not complaining, but this is not how I imagined my life to be once my children became adults and they were out on their own. I always worked. And for me not to be able to work anymore um, has taken a toll on me um, mentally. Me not being able to financially do the things that I imagined myself doing when I was free of raising children has taken its toll on me. Me um, being single <laughs> um, has taken its toll on me. And I had to truly face the fact that, Nicole, you're wrestling. You're wrestling, you know. I began to sleep the um, majority of the time. You know, I would just sleep my, my days away just to get away from my reality of not having a life, any semblance of life. And for that, I ask forgiveness of God for that choice. For that I made an unconscious, conscious decision to check out, to not do anything, to... Um, use my heart condition, my lung condition, um, and all the other ailments that I deal with to not do anything. And for that, I, I had to ask forgiveness. I had to be truthful and honest that, Nicole, you're depressed. You know, my doctor had me on two uh, different uh, antidepressants. One in the morning and a different one at night to help me. I even was on uh, Xanax and I stopped taking the Xanax. So that was three different uh, antidepressants. And to me, they didn't do any good. I mean, I was still depressed. I'm still... Um, Moping around, not doing anything, staying in my room the majority of the day, I'm letting life pass me by. So, I was like, oh, you know, come on, Nicole, get it together. Get it together. You know, so I, I, I made a conscious decision to make a change in my life. And um, so I had to, okay, time for you to go back on your YouTube page and apologize to all the people that have supported you on your YouTube page for um, tuning out, for um, not being consistent as far as making my videos and um, doing the things that I'm supposed to do that I committed myself to do and for that I apologize um, I have a giveaway to do that I have yet to complete 
and I can give excuses a mile long, but they will be just that, excuses, you know, so um, that I have to take care of and I will take care of, but my mental state is the most important thing to me right now in this to you know get myself on track you know stop sitting around and laying around doing a bunch of nothing because that's what I've been doing I've been feeling sorry for myself but yet and still smiling telling everyone oh you know it's a beautiful day and I'm overcomer and I love you guys and I thank you for being my friends. But my health is this and my health is that. And yeah, my health is good. And you know, I believe when I was doing that, I was not trying to convince you that all is well. But convince myself that all is well. Okay, sometimes, you know, you keep telling people things and you keep saying things. Who are you trying to convince? You know, them or, or yourself. I'm trying to convince myself. I'm trying to convince myself that everything's okay. And I know everything's okay. But hey, you're not acting like it. Once you make your videos, you lay down and you mope and you cry. And I've had some crying spells. The past few months. I mean, like. Really. And it's just, it's time to just get it together. It's time for me to get it together. God has kept me to this point and I'm ever so grateful. But I need to get it together. My health, it is what it is. You know, it could be worse. So why am I so internally so sad and so depressed? Okay. So I, I, I can't do this anymore. I can't continue on living a non-existence of life. Because God has blessed me that I'm still here. He's blessed me that I still have a reasonable portion of my health and my strength. So not, why not function within that? I need to function within that. So with that, I ask for your forgiveness. For me not being consistent. For me almost giving up. I ask for your forgiveness. I, I have my excuses, like I said, can be a mile long. But I don't want to cry because you know I will. I'm all cried out. I'm all cried out. I'm asking for true prayers from people of God. I know there are some people that might criticize. Well. But I don't want to be tired anymore. I don't want to give up anymore. I don't. Okay, um, I have some things in my mind. I have not slept. I mean, I could tell you guys about my sleep habits and you'd be like, oh my goodness. I the past week, I have not slept. It's like I'm being haunted. There was a time where I slept all the time. But this past week, I have not slept. I'm like, what is going on with me? And last night, I realized you need to get it together. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. And get it together. So... I'm asking for prayers. I am. For strength. 
and for me to be able to get it together. But um, post what you will at the bottom, your comments, and I thank you guys. And I love you guys. I truly do. You give me strength, especially when I see comments of people being encouraging. It gives me strength. The majority of people that watch my videos, you know my story. And I'm not the only person that has this story. But I don't care about sharing it because this is how I'm able to go on. By sharing my story. And when I stopped sharing my story, I lost my desire to go on. Until next time, guys. I truly, I love you guys from the depths of my heart. I love you because you're God's creation. We are God's creation. That's why I love you. And I thank you. I appreciate you. But until next time, you guys, we are overcomers. And we shall overcome this as well.